All right, hi everyone. My name is Nemheel and welcome back to Dishonored 2. I see something here. Slug splintering wedges. Blueprint, okay. So we just killed Brianna. She is here. Dead. Now, we want to get out of here. No, wait, 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 no, no, no. We're supposed to get to the basement for Brianna's um, recordings. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh god. I mean, I feel nothing. No remorse by killing these witches. Why would you stand like this? Got him. Wait, what? My mistress hears you've been looking up her old journals in the Forbidden Archives. She's going to be cross. I only had a bit of a fear. Fuck. Brianna was busy with something elaborate just before Delilah came upon her. I wanted to know what it was. Jesus. I think Tamina. I read it too. Do you think Delilah really could have done that? I've heard the same story. That was smooth. I think I want the dark vision here. Footsteps. No, wait, it's whale oil. I'm an idiot. There's one. Let's just slay them all. Have I been here? Oh, I have. No matter. Okay, so here's one. Don't fall down. Look at them, they're... It's this is so cool like it's such it's so different from guards like they're just sitting and chilling out Unfortunately, she fell over there, but that seems fine How do we get into the basement though? It's really tough to see something I'm gonna end the dark vision who is this man, Kieran Jindosh? And what power does he hold over Brianna? Are they lovers? Perhaps. But that wouldn't give him any power over Brianna. Jindosh is an ally. Jindosh is dead. Gifted in the ways of natural philosophy. Hmm. Together, they built something that could pierce the void itself. Need to move this. <gasps> Plenty of ideas. Come back here. Die, please. Got her. Oh my god. But yeah, look at my health. I do take less damage now. Still, how do I get down? Oh, if I only like possess rats. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> this is crazy. Could have. No. Okay. Whatever. Oh, look at this. Hmm. 
One, two. I'm gonna sneak past over here. What? I can't go here? No. Damn it. There's one. Shit. Of course they get it in the dawn. When else? They're no good otherwise. Like she's the only one who knows how to gather black nectar to eat. Hmm. Got her. Here's one. Evergris, where am I going to get that? Maybe the incantation will work with just a little muck from the street. What? Kill the blood flies. Okay, so if you're not crouched, you don't kill them. Leave me alone. Like, just leave me alone. The blood flies are easy to deal with, actually. Look at this giant turtle. What in the world? Where are the um, recordings? They're over there. Hmm. This is going to be locked, I'm guessing. Unlock. With what did I unlock it? Whatever, let's listen. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dodd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. It's the assassin Dodd. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the empire what? from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the aisle, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Huh. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. What the hell? Okay. What does possession cost? That's four. No, wait. Possession. Oh, yeah, it's four. Assume control of the host for a short time. So, um. Delilah died to Dodd. Just like her sister. Or, um, like not. Not sister from the same mother, but sister anyway. And uh, they've resurrected her. Her heart, I bathe in poison. Two hundred. Oh shit! Uh, you know, I never think of this as money. A reflection on my journey to the Pen Pendician continent, too, by Anton Sokolov, Chapter Fourteen. We were only miles from shore, but our our. But our approach was marred by numerous hidden reefs and jagged rocks. They lay shallow and we spied two vessels that had succumbed to them some time ago. The remaining crew was uncharacteristically silent as we edged by the weathered wrecks. The first mate declared a particularly narrow channel to, the, uh, to be unpassable, but the captain dispatched ten crewmen onto the submerged coral with sledgehammers, thereafter each chest deep in water. They pulled the Antonia Aquilo in, into the tiny channel with ropes. Is that the ship? Probably. It proved a marvelous solution. However, just as we were about to lower the rope ladders, tragedy struck. As the men were beset by a school of reef-dwelling eels. Apparently, their toxic bites were quite painful. From the railing, we could see them swarming the men, who begged us for aid before succumbing to the paralytic effects of the toxin. Within moments, all were still in the water. Oh my god. We continue on in silence, and by sunset, we had cleared the bars and put anchor in a bay with a red rock beach and emerald overgrowth beyond. I confess I was near giddy to put my feet on land again. The smell of ripening fruits and warm earth was as pleasing to me as a cherished cherished vintage. We gathered wood and made fires and indulged in some t 
tinned meat and lemons from our stores. How good it was to slumber on the beach with the crackle of embers nearby, having, fi uh, having finally escaped the cramped and damp quarters of our vessel. We took turns with the watch and passed a quiet night. At last we stood on Pandician soil. Hmm. Nothing over here. I mean, I guess we go back. Leave me alone. Oh shit, I just... Hit the nest. I don't want to take the elevator, really. Hmm. There are two witches there, right? No, they're gone. Why are they gone? We want to take it eat. Oh my god. You could never stand on these wings. Are you kidding me? Um. How do I do this? There we go. I love that. Okay, so now we're here. We want to get the hell out of here. Yep. Can't believe we infiltrated this place. Now what? Oh my god. Um I'm wondering <laughs> how we will do this. Cuz it seems like I cannot for the life of me. Oh, I can. Wow. This is such a cool game. And now, no shit. Hmm. We're actually on top of it. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so we just want to get back to Megan. Let's see, what was the right way here? I'm just gonna run through. Wait, what? Is that a witch? Hey, what the? She knew she's Delilah's fate. She can't know that. For all any I know what to do with crazy out. gals like you. Down the air. We won't get away. Running. What is happening? What the hell happened? What was that? Where is You can't stay hidden forever. There's a witch, right? I think it is. Yep. So now witches are here. What's going on? Come out of the moon. Wherever you are. Show yourself. Come on. I don't have time for games. Come on. Um, I'm going to go. You. Who the, who do they keep hearing? It's not me. Hmm. So we we kind of want to get back, yeah, this way. Exactly the same way which we came. Hmm. 
Yes. Perfect. This worked out fine. <gasps> oh my. What the hell did I do? I'm an idiot. I actually just Corvo tripped. That is so embarrassing. Let's go. God damn. <laughs> that is crazy. So it's done. Yeah. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. What? Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Oh. Bought into their bullshit, which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now, but I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Okay. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Hmm. So was she like? Are you ready to leave now? A witch? Or? Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Yes. Got a lot go. of money. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. Okay, civil zero civilians killed, but we killed 20 hostiles. Alarms wrong, zero bodies detected, nine? Oh, 23 detections, that's bad. One out of six runes. Plenty of coins. Talk with the Delilah Caldwin. Yeah. Oh, so these were special. Found the outpost the Vice Officer Burn was using. Okay. Continue. Nice. Dreadful whale. Meet with Anton Sokolov to discuss your next steps before taking the skiff to the Dust District. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. Yeah. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond yeah. the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. <laughs> Shit. How will we deal with this? I mean, we're not immortal, but she seems to be. Damn it. All right. Well, I think that's going to uh this is going to conclude this episode. My name is Nemhil. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing if you want more of this kind of content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.